Asynchronous programming allows us to handle the threats of our processes in a more efficient way. The idea is to avoid blocking a thread waiting for an answer, either from an external system, such as a web service, or from the computer's file management system. The optimal thread management provides us with two very important features, vertical scalability and a user interface that does not freeze. Vertical scalability refers to an improvement in the processing capability of our application. There are several ways to achieve this scalability. One of them is by using asynchronous programming. For example, if we have a web application, it will be able to serve a greater number of HTTP requests at the same time through the use of asynchronous programming. This because each HTTP request is handled by a thread. And if we avoid blocking threads, then there will be more threads available to process HTTP requests. When we talk about a UI that does not freeze, we are referring mainly to desktop and mobile applications, which the user will be able to continue interacting with even when there is a process in progress. This because the interaction with the UI is handled through the UI thread. So if you allow the UI thread to be blocked by waiting for a long task to be resolved, the user will not be able to interact with the application. Using asynchronous programming, we can avoid blocking the UI thread. To work with asynchronous programming in C-sharp, we use async await. The idea is that we can use async to mark a method as asynchronous. And with await, we can wait for an asynchronous operation in such a way that the original thread is not blocked. The normal thing is that the method marked with async return a task or task of t. The idea of task is that it represents an asynchronous operation. In the case of task of t, it is like a promise that in the future, this method will return a value whose data type is t. Asynchronous programming can be used in any environment, like desktop, mobile, and web. Normally, we use asynchronous programming when we are going to communicate with external systems. For example, if from our application we have to communicate with a web service, we will want to use asynchronous programming. This is a I.O. bound operation. I.O. bound operations are characterized by the fact that their performance depends on communication between systems. This is why asynchronous programming does not improve the speed of the processes since there is no way that from our system we can make the processing speed of an external system faster. The most we can do is to be efficient in managing our threats so as not to waste resources waiting for I.O. operations.